Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Anna. Today we are actually doing a review on Luxie Beauty's newest duo chromes to the Ice Cream Social. It's kind of like Ice Cream Social round two. Now if you're unaware of who Luxie Beauty is, they are actually an indie brand makeup company. And I did a whole in-depth review on the first four she launched, um, but she did launch four more. But before we get into it, obviously we have some really important things to address. Every time I get it, I, I have tried, I have tried filming I think three videos now um, addressing the whole Black Lives uh, Matter movement and the craziness surrounding it. And every time I make a video, it turns into like a 25 minute video of me just ranting and I can't even get into the next video. But basically, I am very upset. I am very upset. I'm very disappointed in America. I never realized how far we have not come, how far we have not come from racism, how far we have not grown, that we're not willing to acknowledge that some people have it better off, especially compared to black people. I cannot believe the excuses that continue to be made. I literally ranted in a whole video of like 30 plus minutes of why I'm so upset and how this is just wrong for m multiple, multiple reasons. But I think of it as if you have kids or if you teach kids or if you're a grandparent, years and years from now they're gonna come home and say, hey, this was in my history book. Did you know this happened while you were alive? What did you do about it? What did you do about it? What did you do about it? I want you to think about that. In the future, because this is a huge moment, what did you do? So, I wanted to take a few days off. The first week I was just crying. I was I was just really upset. I'm half white. I'm half Asian. So obviously I myself have also faced um, discrimination in this country. And uh, so this just... We just... We need to grow. People need to learn. People need to get off their high horse and unite as opposed to fight. And... I have decided that instead of just being really angry about it or trying to change people's minds or trying to show them why they're completely wrong in battling this or not acknowledging it or doing nothing about it, I am going to do something about it myself. Um, not myself, but here's something that I myself plan on doing and have already done. So I have... There is this woman who I competed with in the Miss America organization. If you're not aware of the Miss America organization, it's a scholarship pageant for women. If you win your state title, you actually go and compete at Miss America. I was Miss Sierra Vista back in the day, and then I went to Miss Arizona to compete. And if I had won Miss Arizona, I would have been at Miss America, but I, I did not win. <laughs> so I have this friend who I competed with in the Miss America organization and she is black, and her name is Britt Glover. She has always been really awesome in helping her community, but she says that she has a different kind of background than she feels some other black women might. She feels like the white community supported her, had her back, was there to cheer her on, but she also realizes that there are black women who will never have that in their life. And she wanted to give white people a way to feel like you are helping them see that you care. Um, so I'm going to read this. This is her right here. I don't know how well you can see it on my phone. But she lives in Phoenix, Arizona. And this is kind of the organization I've chosen to support because I personally know her. And I really like the idea behind it. So I'm going to read it to you. I know this is going to take a little bit of a longer intro, but I think this is really important so you know what I'm doing with my platforms. Um, so she said, my name is Britt Glover. I made this shirt. 
here's why I'm only selling it to white people. I am from a black neighborhood in the heart of South Phoenix through many years of formally competing in pageants. I've been blessed to meet some pretty amazing white people, white people who called in favors and paid pageant fees and cheered in the audience when my family could not afford to be there. They also in court encouraged me to be unapologetically black in all white spaces. These white people stepped in when they saw I could use a little push and are now some of my dearest friends and allies. I realize many black women in my community never got to and may never get to experience genuine support and friendship from white people the way I did. And it's not because white people don't care and aren't willing, it's because they don't always know how they can support. So I created a call to action to the many white people who have asked how they can contribute to causes impacting disenfranchised communities. Behind the scenes, 500 non-conforming, free-thinking black women in Phoenix strategically raised thousands of dollars to provide feminine hygiene products, female condoms, and masks to sex workers, homeless women, and women in need during the pandemic. We also adopted a food pantry that we will stock monthly. White people, here is where you come in. A $15 donation will buy a non-conforming, free-thinking black woman a shirt, which will be gifted to a random black woman with a special tag that says, from an ally who sees your efforts and cares. 100% of the proceeds go to the Adopted Food Pantry and Community Social Impact Initiatives. We are so overwhelmed by the love and support we've received from allies all over the world. Thank you for your kind words and support. This may not be the solution to world peace, but it's one heck of a start. Britt Glover, Executive Director of the Ally Project Phoenix. So she said, frequently asked questions, will I receive a shirt after make my donation? No, we do not currently ship to consumers. The shirt is gifted to a random black woman that you probably do not know, but we do encourage all non-conforming, free, th free thinking black women and allies to pull up and grab one. It's free at Ally Project Phoenix events. So if you go to their site, which I'll leave this all down below, there is a donate now. Um, I've bought one so far with my own money. But what I plan on doing is, right now on YouTube, I don't make any money. I'm very close. Uh, well, I'm like 40,000 minutes away still from becoming monetized to begin with. But what I plan on doing is, if I ever do become monetized, is each check, if she continues with this shirt uh, donation for a while, I will buy a shirt each time I get a YouTube check. But if I do not, I mean, if she doesn't continue with that, we'll either figure out a different you know, place to support or a different way to support her. Um, so yeah, definitely check her out. I think it's great. You always want to make sure an organization before you donate is legit. And I feel a lot more comfortable because I actually know the person who is running it. And I think it's a really cool idea that she came up with. So I'm also supporting a friend. Um, I also have decided that since I'm an affiliate with Midas, they do a check payout every $50 and I think I'm about $5 from that so when I get that check I will also use that to buy a t-shirt. Now the way you can uh, help donate to that part is if you ever purchase from Midas Cosmetics is by using my code in all caps in its glitter G-L-I-T-T-E-R in all caps. That will not only save you 20% off but I get a small commission from that so when I reach the $50 mark I will buy another t-shirt from their company as well and again as things grow maybe they'll start having other types of things going on with her organization. It's kind of like the beginning of things I think so um, all that money goes to a food pantry and you're also gifting a black woman a t-shirt and showing them that you're an ally with them. So I think it's just a really cool cause and Midas Cosmetics is an awesome company to support especially during this time. I have seen over and over again that during the pandemic she's donated some of her sales um, money to it. She's also been donating to all Black Lives Matters organizations. She has been donating. She's been speaking out. Um, and she is a one woman brand <laughs> and she has been one of the most supportive brand owners I personally have ever seen or worked with and she messages us every time something new is launching but she also messaged us during the protest saying if you need a safe place to stay here is my number and that to me speaks volumes she's very heavily involved in her um, affiliates by supporting us 
deeply. So I feel like it's kind of like a circle of gonna use Midas as a part to kind of donate more. Also a part of my Midas check I'd like to donate not donate but put back into Midas um, for reviewing products so like when I get my $50 I'll do $15 to this and then I'll probably take another amount to buy something to review for you guys to give back to Midas if that makes sense so it's kind of like a happy circle right now triangle so that's my idea I know it's a small start I know it's small but I also don't have all the money in the world but I figured it'd be a small start to a way of using my platform again I'm not monetized here on YouTube but you can help me become monetized by watching my videos in full um, because again I'm like 40,000 50,000 away from making monetization and again if I get my first YouTube check I will again buy another shirt or maybe two we'll see it depends on how we're doing financially ourselves because we are getting ready to move to a new house let's get into makeup okay I was like I'm not gonna rant I, I, I tried to sum this up as quickly as I could but I want you guys to know that um, I, I'm I'm even though I might not be the loudest, I'm taking time to reflect and see how I can actually put things into action to make a difference, if that makes sense. So that's my small little plan. I hope you think it's a decent one so far. I know, I know it's not the most amazing, but again, if you want to donate too, I will post that down below. I will also post a link to Midas Cosmetics if you want to buy makeup. Again, that check will also be partially used to buy a t-shirt. So if you use my code that way, so I, I, I just, I think it's a kind of cool idea. Okay, Ice Cream Social by Luxie Beauty. The first time I ever tried the Luxie Beauty Ice Cream Social duochromes, I was obsessed. They're only $3 each. That is a really good buy for duochromes, especially from an indie makeup brand. And so these were the first ones right here. These were the ones from last time. And these are the new ones. So you have some deeper ones. A lot of the ones were kind of blue shifting. These two look similar, so we'll swatch those. We'll swatch all of them side by side. As you can see, there's a little bit of similarities but not really I'd say honestly these two are the ones that look the most similar but I'm sure their shifts are different so these are the new again these are the old so I will go over the new ones one by one for you guys so this first one is called Ube Ube and it's like purple and blue reflect and it is so pretty it's so pretty so it obviously is more of that like light toppery duochrome. Sorry, my camera's having some issues focusing lately. Probably because I dropped it. So ever since then it's been a little bit. Mm. So there is that. It reminds me of a fish scale. It's really, really pretty. Actual name looks like it says UB, but she said that it's pronounced Ube. And I guess I'll swatch the older ones next to it. So the older one is called Bubblegum. And this one was like a pink green shifty one. So I'll just swatch those side by side so you can kind of see the difference. So in person I can see the difference a lot more. Um, this Bubblegum one is a lot more pinky, pinky toned. It reflects like a hotter pink, brighter pink. I don't know if you can tell on camera that much. I kind of think that I like the newer one better. Do you see like it kind of reflects green too? I think it has a stronger pink shift to it though. So there are those pretty. Next we have Mint Chip. This one is not as flippy and sparkly as the other ones. It's um, really pretty but it's not as intense duochrome. They're all very soft. This one has more of like a purpley, minty, pinky. It's like they all have pink no matter what. <laughs> but it's not as sparkly. It has a little bit more background pigment to it. So just really pretty toppery shades that are soft. I'm going to compare that compare it to the original Snow Cone. It's kind of the most aqua-y one from the original one. Um, and a lot more green 
aqua. So there's mint chip, which is kind of like blue to um, green, pink, purple. <laughs> and this one is snow cone. For edit, since there's no other ones like this in the collection, I'm going to compare it to the original screwball because this one is a little bit more blue. This one's a little bit more blue. I think it might look a little bit more like this one, so... Definitely has more of that blue flip to it. I think it's a little shinier too. Yeah, it it has more of a flip than mint chip and a deeper blue flip. These two look really similar. This one's salted caramel. It does look more yellowy champagne-y in the pan than the other one does though. So it's super pretty, super soft. Let's see if we can show the flip. Uh, I don't really know. It. Tell me what colors you see. <laughs> I don't know. But here's the other one. They look really similar. Let me show you them side by side because they look so similar. I think that cookie dough, which is one of the original ones, has more of a blue flip. So this one's cookie dough and this one's salted caramel. No, they're blur they're not they're kind of blurry but I think oh there we go Let's see so I'm gonna swatch cookie dough which is one of the original colors in person that one definitely has more blue there we go so salted caramel versus cookie dough They're both really pretty. I mean, there's slight differences. Um, I think salted caramel has less of a flip, so it's more of like, um, you could use it as like a neutrally type color. Okay, and the last one is completely different than any of the ones before. And this one's called Rocky Road. And this one is like green, gold, magenta, I don't know, anything, yellow like 50 trillion colors it's really pretty like ooh I could see that one in the fall time see like if you brighten the light let's see if it captures some more tones there and if you dim the light you can see yep Okay, so there are some comparisons. I think we're going to apply some of these to the eye. I think we're going to do the most pigmented one all over the eye. And this one is called Rocky Road. It is the darkest one that looks pink, orange, like fire. Uh, I don't know. This would be a really pretty fall color, I think. These shadows are so good. They work really great wet and on top of, um, I don't have any eye primer on today, but they work better on top of like a glitter glue too, but I just want to see what it looks like without one so we can just see the shade by itself. It's really pretty. I just have like a matte light brown in the crease today. There it is. I'm going to just put it on the other eye, too. Let's see. The finger. I do think I should have put a sticky, tackier base on. I just feel like I have not been in the right mindset to film lately. Like, it's been really hard for me to get to film. And then every time I do sit down and film, I feel like I'm just doing everything all wrong. I'm just very, very bothered by everything going on, but hopefully things will get better one day. Um, next, I'm going to use Salted Caramel, which is that kind of the lightest shade, and we're just going to put it in our inner corners. Sorry, I might camera you guys. So even though it's like lighter, you can still see that intense shift which makes some really awesome corner highlights. These top ray shades or highlighters. But yeah, 
so that's salted caramel and then we have rocky road all over so pretty so pretty I'm just like keep piling it on I'm like yeah let's just you know brighten up that whole inner third soon it's probably gonna just end up all over my entire eye okay that's cool yep beautiful there we have it I think they're absolutely beautiful totally worth three dollars Plus, you are supporting a smaller makeup brand, so I approve of these. They're really pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to, again, point you back to those links that um, you can buy a t-shirt from my friend to support a food pantry as well as show a black woman that you believe in their cause and that you are an ally and um, yeah so go check out her story. I know I read it to you but go check it out again so you can um, share it with your friends. I think if we could make this go really big for her it'd be really awesome. Um, now is the time to definitely unite and support in any ways that you can, even if it's not by using money. Um, hopefully I can get back into making videos and start feeling a little bit better and start being more proactive versus just being really upset all the time. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye.